Good morning and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am the No Excuses reseller and my name is Nico. Uh, I live up in the mountains of Wyoming and I travel between here and Denver to get my inventory. So I just have a big mess right now as far as my environment and I am really working hard on that today. On the other hand, I've gone four days with no new listings going up and that's just not acceptable. That's not how I do things. Uh, I do normally have scheduled listings available for the days that something really comes up, but I used all of those to go to California a couple of weeks ago, and then I used some of those to go to the bins to get all of this haul that we're going to work on in the next, like, three or four videos and and I ran out about two days before I even got back from the bins and then I had a birthday party for my niece that was out of town and just a lot of excuses which I don't like to make but I just could not or did not stay up all night to get the four days of listings up that I should have so I just was not consistent um, a lot of the things that have happened the last two weeks have been very unexpected. Um, you know, the trip to California was not planned except like a week and a half before. And so I've done really good considering that. But now I am just cleaning up messes, trying to get trash out of my environment. And the reason I'm doing the hauls now is because I want to start getting the laundry that needs washed in the washer. And that's kind of going to be my project all day is to clean up this environment, get all the laundry prepped and ready to list. Uh, today I'm going to send 60 items, photos of 60 items to my virtual assistant. And then in the next couple of days, he'll get those back to me. And then I'm joining a uh, listing marathon in this group that I'm in. It's a paid group. So if you're not part of the, the group, you can't participate but it's part of a paid group that I'm in and they're having a listing challenge tomorrow for your draft bank not to launch but to build up your scheduled listings and I definitely need that with my life and my crazy life I need about two to three hundred items scheduled at all times I need about 21 days worth of scheduled listings which is the maximum that you can have and so 21 days from now I could you know schedule it out and back this way and, uh, and then I just want to keep a rotating 21 days of scheduled listings because I do have one of those, I don't know, my life just seems like something always comes up. I don't say yes to everybody. I, I often say no to commitments. I think it's just more my travel. And then you add the weather into that from where I live. Uh, the weather is 99% better than it was uh, even two or three weeks ago, but today it's still only 18 degrees and this is March, whatever it is, 28th. You know, we're going through a cold freeze, travel is difficult. So anyway, for those reasons, I feel like I need to get two or 300 items ahead in scheduled listings. I also need to get two or 300 items ahead in a reserve pile, not listed, but just items washed, prepped, and ready in case I can't get out of town. That really would have helped me the last 12 weeks if I would have just had um, a kind of what you call a, a death pile or a money pile. I have very rarely had a huge death pile. I, I try to run a lean operation, but this last 12 weeks has taught me that I am going to have to have, you know, hundreds of items washed and put away and ready to live. List, uh, because of the weather. It would have really caused me a lot less pain and suffering the last 12 weeks. I've cried tears literally, like I'm embarrassed, but I've cried tears over, you know, just trying to reach my goals these last 12 weeks when the roads kept clo closing. So, if you have followed my channel for very long, uh, you'll know that I did this about three weeks ago, I think now. My, my, timing is a blur because I went to California unexpectedly, like I said, but I think this was like three or four weeks ago. I went to the bins. I kept track of every single penny, every single item I got and mapped it all out. And you can go back and look at that video. That one I spent $835 using my business credit, uh, which I have a lot of because I used to sell on Amazon, but I don't like using it. I am trying to build eBay 
uh, using cash only, but I just could not successfully be gone and take the trips without using my business credit. So I started about three or four weeks ago after consulting with several people. One of them is a uh, an accountant, a uh, business accountant on this group I'm on, and I consulted with her. I paid her a couple hundred dollars over time to kind of look at everything, and she agreed that I that this should work, and it is working, thankfully. So three or four weeks ago, I spent $835 using only credit, paid it back within less than 10 days, and that's what I'm I'm doing again. Uh, right now, I'm going through all my receipts. I have receipts everywhere. I pulled them all out of my purse. I'm almost done with cleaning all of this mess up. So here are my actual um, inventory receipts because what I did was I left on the 21st of March and I drove through Wyoming, shopped my way up, got to the bins, spent two full shopping days at the bins, and then I shopped my way back. So that's why I have so many receipts. A lot of them, I was only in the store 30 minutes. Some of them, I was in there an hour and 44 minutes. You know, you can see. And I will, you know, make this more presentable, or at least I'll go through it line by line when I actually have the calculations done. So right now, I know based on line number nine, I have 70 items that I've already showed you in other hauls, and they're washed, and I've actually started to photo those for today for my um, VA. Then today, I'm going to get started on these two bins expenditures. So I've got those receipts right here. So they are number 10 and 11. So the first full day, this was a 12-hour open-to-close day, I spent $96.23 on that bin inventory. Let's see where we are. There you go. I hope you can see that. And that was for March 22nd. So I shot my way up to Wyoming, stayed that first night in the hotel, and then started the next morning. And I, I am going to put the hotels on here. I'm already starting on the expenses as I find the receipt. So I already have one. I booked the hotel for two nights and then I decided to stay a third. And so right now, 206202 is that receipt. But I know I have another hotel receipt for another hundred about. So anyway, that was receipt number 10 with the Goodwill outlet. Then the second full day, I did the Goodwills. I spent $115.90, and that was on the 23rd. So those are my next two receipts. I've got all my numbered um, receipts here, and they correspond to the, um, it's not a spreadsheet because I'm not good at spreadsheets, but it's a piece of paper. I'm old-fashioned, I guess, around here as far as technology. And... I'm just going to move this. I'm going to show you. I have, every time I go to the post office, of course, I get a big printout at the a strip that's left in my box. I am very blessed to live where I live. And, um, you know, when I, all I do is drop off my mail pre-printed and then they leave one of these in my box because it's a very small post office. That way I don't have to wait and hold up the line. That way they can do it as they can. They just do Whenever they get a break, they process mine, and then they leave that. But the problem is I keep those just in case, you know, someone wants proof that I mailed it, which very never, ever happens, but it has happened in the past, mostly with international ones. And so I, this is how much trash I have just sorted this morning. And 99% of it is those receipts that I've had for like six months. I got so behind. I just have a little drawer here that I throw them in and I don't worry too much about them. But I got so behind, guys. And then the rest of these are like dental, you know, dentist office receipts and other receipts that don't pertain to what I'm doing today. So I'm going to gently move this out of here. I'll go empty it later. Okay. And then this is the only one that I kept, and this is the receipts in here. I keep them for two or three months, the receipts. And so the receipts in here are UPS drop-offs and these. And so I put to throw this bag away on June 2023. That's what I normally do. I normally put them in a bag that is marked um, like three months ahead. And so, uh, most of these are like the last month or so, the last four or five weeks. And then I know that, you know, after three months, it's fine to throw these away. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this one. And then on June, 2023, I'm going to throw this thing in the trash. All right. 
so that's kind of the progress I made. My purse is really nice and clean. I got all the stuff from about two weeks worth of travel because after I got back from that California trip, I was totally out of inventory, had zero, like zero, because it wasn't a sourcing trip. It was a personal trip. So I came home, had no inventory. I took one day to clean up my suitcase and do the best I could, but I didn't really focus on paperwork or anything for the business, and I went in the car to go get inventory. Then I was gone three or four days getting inventory, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, it just, um, I just need to do a massive cleanup today. But uh, let me go ahead and get started. I'm just going to break up the bins trips kind of as we go. I'll stop whenever we get to about 30, 40 minutes. I'll go start that stuff in the washer. And then while that's processing, I'll come start on the next bins um, grouping. And then I also have some more thrift stores down here in separate bags and the receipts are down in there. So let's just start, guys. This is going to be totally a mess. I don't know if you can see on my floor. That's what's right behind my feet. And uh, that's why we have a mess. All right, let's get started. All right, I think this is, I think this is from a thrift. I'm looking for the receipt. Do, 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 do. I don't know, because I know, where did I find these at? I don't know. I'll wait on that and I will, ah, no, that's not it. That's a tag. I thought that was it. I usually tuck these right down in the side so that I keep track of what inventory goes with it. And I remember putting all of these in one. But anyway, we'll skip that one until I figure out the receipt on that. So let's go there. Okay. In a perfect world, I would mark things kind of as I go. But, um, oh, I put haul video on this. So this one we've already done a haul video on. So that one is ready to be washed. We don't want to we don't want to repeat the stuff you've already seen. Okay, so I believe all of this is from the bins, not from a normal store. So let's go through. Now some of this will be consignment because if you're new to my channel, you can go back and look at my old things. I won't keep going and re repeating everything, but I do sell to a consignment store. I do really well there. And uh, then I use that money to buy better eBay inventory. So I take them what they want and I get what I need. So this is just a pair of O'Neill Hyper Freak. These actually do fairly decently on eBay. So I've checked these out. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on eBay and I think I'll get about 12 bucks is all. Same thing with these. These are Tipsy Elves. Tipsy Elves shorts that have a really unique pattern actually do pretty good. So I'm thinking I'll get about 12 to 15 on these. Um, these are a size, these are a size large. So probably get 12 to 15 plus shipping. All of my quotes that I give to you are plus shipping. All right. And I'll go in, when I get up to the washing machine, I'll go in and any tags that were on these from being in the bins, I'll take off. Um, this is just Travelers, um, Chico's Travelers. This is really good. So um, just a size one. I do really good with Chico's Travelers. Again, between $12 to $15 plus uh, $6.75 on the first class shipping. And then I charge $8 or I charge $9.75 on padded flat rate. Uh, this is just a North Face shirt, just a staple product. I'll be lucky to get 10 or 12 on this. It's a prettier blue than what you're showing, but it's a women's medium, and this will definitely sell. Then a whole bunch of vintage shirts just came out all at once, and I grabbed them and looked through them. I haven't decided yet. Some of them I looked up, and I know they'll do well on eBay. Some of them are just going to go to this consignment store because they do really well with their vintage, and they price it really high, and they love this kind of stuff. They have very, I mean, it's not that they have very little, but they don't get near as much men's vintage as they do women's, and so they will absolutely love anything that, uh, you know, doesn't do good on eBay. So this is just like a 70s shirt. It's not really the same kind of fabric that Disco is. But anyway, this is a Trico Jones and Row. 
and you can just definitely tell it's just so 70s I think polyester I'm looking in here for it but anyway this will do good either way um, I can't remember which ones are going on eBay and which ones aren't here's another one of those shirts this is David Harrison again just a very 70s style shirt it's got the pockets there um, this is a knit knit sportswear 100% polyester they definitely have that old old closet smell so I'm gonna wash them I might put some oxy in those and then you know spin them again or I'll just try to wash them normally and just see if if it you know smells great if not I'll have to maybe soak those a little bit but they're fine. This is also vintage. This is a, what is this? Is this a Donan? Yeah, this is a Donan women's skirt, size four. Just very unique pattern, colorway there. And so this one I thought I was going to put on eBay, but it may also just be for consignment. Right now I have probably four sets of clothing that's going to go to the consignment for spring and then that should get me through each week until they start to take summer. I don't know exactly when the cutoffs will be but either way if you've watched my videos of how I have struggled during the 12 weeks of the cold spell um, or the blizzard conditions and stuff then you know that I'm not only trying to get a death pile or a money pile however you look at it I'm also trying to all year long as I see things that I know that this consignment store will take and, and then I want to branch out to some other consignment stores too and sell to them this isn't the only possible place I should be selling there are places all up through the front range in Denver that I need to set accounts up at and I'm sorting through tens of thousands of pieces of clothing literally every month I'm not joking if, if you look at the bins how many pieces of clothing I touch and I need to monetize some of all that effort and so there are a lot of everyday things that I won't even sell on eBay because it's too much work that all of these consignment places will give me you know a dollar or two profit on and all I have to do is just drop it off and so I'm trying to work on that aspect of the business too but right now I'm just you know trying to get through keeping up with these two places the one consignment store and this so even if some of that is out of season right now all of those I could take to the consignment store right now the vintage I think they would pretty much take all year long and then um the the uh that skirt, you know, is definitely spring. I can take that. Um, this is definitely for eBay. This is a Tory Richard 4XB, you know, 4X shirt. Really nice, great size. This will sell for probably about $15 plus shipping. So that is a good one. Uh, this one is Marcel of Paris. It's another vintage one. It doesn't have quite the cool look that the disco ones do. It is polyester. Uh, no, this is all cotton. I lied. This is all cotton. And it says high B tapered or something like that. So I'll look into it and decide if this is worth eBay or if it goes to the consignment. Right now, those all have that old smell. So I've got to just make sure that everything's clean first. Then I'll do another separation and I need to have this done um, by tonight and tomorrow because I need items to list. I probably have 60 items behind me for my VA to get him his stuff and then he can work on it the next few days. But then I have nothing for the listing challenge that I'm going to do tomorrow. So by midnight tonight, I need to get going. Now this is the one I remember looking up, this Medici. And I think I have one or two of these. Anyway, this is just so like 70s disco, very cute. Um, this will definitely sell on eBay. I want to say they were going for 15 to 20. They're not... 100% rare, but they're cute. And then this is one of the cuter ones. Whew, my voice is smelling, or my, my voice, my throat is already smelling all this uh, kind of old vintage stuff. And then plus what the bins throws on it. So I'm trying to see what this says. What does this say? Some kind of writing. I don't even know. Maybe it says Damon. Maybe it says Damon, the name of the brand. I don't know. But either way, it's a cool kind of disco-y disco-y 60 shirt then I picked these up these are just Patagonia Capilene even if these do have holes I always do really well but I checked these over and I think they maybe just had a snag somewhere if that 
Um, do, 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 I don't even see that. Oh, yeah. Right here, kind of on the hip, there's a little snag in the fabric, but that won't affect it at all. Those I'll put on eBay for like 12 bucks. I got these Mountain Hardware. These are a size, um, do, do, do. Oh, right there. I'm like, where is it? It should be there. These are a size 8. These are hemp, part hemp organic cotton. So these will definitely sell. I'll get about between 12 and 15 bucks, probably 12 plus shipping on those. Okay, then these actually do really good. Oh, I lied. There are some more of those vintage shirts in there. They all came out in one bin on hangers, so it's almost like an estate person just donating them all to the Goodwill, and they never got put out because they don't have Goodwill tags, and I just picked the whole stack up um, in the bins. Okay, this is an Ashro uh, free size, just kind of a muumu or a lounge dress, whatever you want to look at it as. These actually do quite well. This will sell for 15 to 20 bucks plus shipping on eBay pretty quickly. Okay, here's another one of our wonderful shirts. I, I want to wash these and hopefully they, you know, aren't so old that they fall apart when we wash them. But that's what I don't want a customer to find out either. So I'm going to wash these just in a normal washer. Whew, boy. Yeah, hard on my voice and my throat. This is a size large, but just darling kind of disco shirt. Definitely 15 to 20 bucks on eBay on that one. That one has the look, you know, that I'm going for. And then here's another one. I forgot how many I had gotten. This has been, I went the 21st to the 24th. This is the 28th. I, I just had so much stuff going on in my life this weekend that this stuff should have been listed by now, but that's okay. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm going to do the best that I can to... Uh, just keep up with everything. Um, so anyway, this is a Medici, same as that other brand, size 16 and a half. This will definitely sell. I do stay up late and get up early. I'm more than willing to do that, but there are times when I just can't do any more. Um, this is a good find. This was just sitting on the top of the bin. Um, I'm surprised, you know, but it wasn't like I was just there to grab it when it first came out. I don't know if people looked at it and they were looking for some other brand and didn't realize, but this is a Saratelli hat company. And I looked this up, and this is actually a really good find. I, if I remember right, um, because this is uh, 5X Beaver. So it's 5X Beaver, and then it says Roundup from Jackson, Wyoming. That might be the store. But either way, I don't see anything really wrong with this hat. And so I should easily be able to get about, you know, 50 bucks on it. I'm going to just dust it off real lightly. So I'm going to not put that in with the wash. I'll put that over there. Oh, wait, I need to count the items as we do it. Sorry. That has to go back over here because I have not counted any of these items yet. So we need to count. That's how I'm finding out how much per item I'm paying. I almost forgot. All right, this is Enrico Jones. I had another one of these. Just very cool. Very nice look to these. Love those. Okay. Then we have an Aaron sweater market sweater. I hate, I, I kind of hate buying wool and cashmere because I'm just always knowing that when I get it home and lay it out, I'll probably find a hole. But I, I looked through this whole sweater at the bins and I did not see anything. I stretched out the arms. I put my hand through it. But either way, they do sell even with defects. But this one appears, as far as I can tell, not to have one. And it's in a great size. It's an XL. So I think I should get, I'm going to go ahead and list this, I think. Um, I am trying to get a death pile. So I might put this away for the death pile because, you know, it is spring and summer now. So I may try to just start deciding, okay, let's put away winter and then in, in September we'll rotate it. And um, so this may go in my death pile and I may not list it right away. Okay, this is really cute. This is a, what, Vicky Faldo, I think it is, sweater. Now this had a defect and I thought that it was worth trying to get out. I think it has some stains on the arms. Yeah, there's one right there. So I'm going to soak this sweater. Um, there's some back there. The brand itself, if it didn't have any defects, would be a really good pickup. Um, it's an XL. It just has this great kind of argyle pattern on the front. But with all the stains, I don't know if those are going to come out. If not, 
I'll just take a loss on it. I paid probably $2.50 on it, but I felt like it was worth trying on because it is 100% um, cotton, so I thought it could withstand me trying to soak it in Oxy. And then if I ruin it, it's fine. I'm also trying to kind of see what can I get the stains out, what can't I. On a normal button front shirt, I know I could get those out, um, but I don't know on that knit fabric exactly what will come out and what won't. I'm going to see... I, I felt like I was struggling a little bit at the bins this week. I felt like I was willing to take lots of bread and butter. Whew, man, my hair looks kind of bad today, but that's okay, guys. I, today is definitely over the hump work day. That's all I know. Um, I just felt like I was really struggling to get stuff that I liked. I I did do okay, and like those those vintage shirts are great, but still, I was happy with just kind of repeating like J. Jill, Chico's in bigger sizes, and it just, I mean, I think I got some, but it just didn't come out like I wanted. Um, Cabela's, this is a XL, and the kind of camo does matter on this. I think I've mentioned this before. But this is just kind of a real tree camo. But then this is the storm cotton version of this jacket. So that does matter. And this is in a nice big size. So I think I looked it up. And it might sit a little bit. But it's a substantial piece. And I think I will get about 20 in the end for that. People love camouflage. And I have so much camouflage in my store that I seem to be able to get a decent price. Okay, let's see where we're at now. Um, so that's the end of that bin's bag. Okay, this should be, as far as I know, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think that this is bin's. If I find a receipt midway through, then I'll change that. But I think that this is a bins bag. My memory, you know, I don't normally shop at so many thrifts on the way up and then back from the bins. So normally I really remember, but I shopped at like 15 other stores. So this is a cowgirl legend, just a really nice Western, really nice horse motif. I can't remember if this was just going to be consignment, which will do really well at the Wyoming consignment store that I'm going to take this to. Or if that was going to be eBay. I'll have to look that up. The reason I want the more common brands that I already sell is because it eliminates having to look it up again. What were you going to do with it? Does this go on eBay or is this consignment? Um, a lot of these are new to me brands. I have no idea what they are until I look them up. And then they end up to be worth it, which is great. And I am learning a lot of other brands. But like for this week, just to get my work done, it's going to take me twice as long because I don't normally sell these brands. But I didn't attempt to do this. I wasn't trying to bolo hunt or whatever. I was really trying to fill my car with like 500 Chico's XL dresses or something, but it just didn't come out for me to do it. I really wanted to have an easy listing week where I just wash that, throw it up there, and I already know the price. Um, but that's okay. This is a Roper brand new with tags dress. Very cute, kind of an off-white or a beige. Um, it is a size small, but um, I'll check. I, I don't get Roper's dresses that often with lace and stuff like this, so I'll look. The normal price on this was $75, which means absolutely nothing, as we know. So I will try to figure out the style name on this and then decide if this is eBay or consignment. Either one I'll do pretty good on. I'm assuming I can get 20 out of that on eBay or take it to the consignment and they'll price that up since it's Western. Um, this is a North Face XL. This is kind of what I'm looking for, believe it or not. I can power list this because I don't have to do any research. I already know kind of what a North Face polo, I'm going to put, you know, 15 bucks on it and take 12 if they want. Um, this is actually what I would rather have found. It just didn't happen. So Anywho, this is the Vapor Wick also. So I think 15 plus shipping is a good price. All right, where are we? Royal, Royal Robins. I don't know why I have trouble sometimes with my R's, but Royal Robins, a good solid kind of packable pair of shorts. I do okay with Royal Robins. I don't pay up for it, but I will get it at the bands. So I would think I'll end up with like 10 or $12. Summer is coming and shorts are flying off my shelf uh, in my, you know, eBay 
uh, store. So I think I can up the price about a dollar or two on most shorts and they'll sell better. Life is good. I know um, you got to be careful and kind of glance at the different prints. There are some collectible prints. I don't think this is one of them, but it is very cute. I'll probably end up with like, you know, $9.99 plus shipping on that. And I would take as low as seven on that. Okay, this is Harley Davidson. Um, it's on a Harley tag. I make sure Harley Davidson can be faked. Now, normally it's going to be the jackets or, you know, some kind of t-shirt that maybe they're faking. So I try to make sure and check my tags, make sure that you um, kind of know what you're doing on Harley Davidson because believe it or not, it is faked. But this is just kind of an everyday three button Henley shirt. It's not something that would sell for enough to wear, you know, it should be um, a problem. So, and this looks legit. I looked up a couple things at the bins just to make sure. I, some of that makes me nervous. I don't like doing it. But yeah, this will uh, sell for about 10, 12. Um, I'll price it at like 17 or 18 because of the size, but um, sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't go. So no bolos yet, guys, but we're getting there. We will find some. All right, so this, now see if you're in the bins and you see this and you see this and there's no tag, then I'm sure a lot of you know this, but some of you who are new resellers or new clothing resellers wouldn't know. The next thing you do is start checking pockets. So nothing there. This is just like a men's suit coat that's reversible. Um, if you don't see a tag, check the pockets. So nothing there. So then you go to the inside. Um, And, oh, yeah, so here it is, okay, because I was like, I know this was something, because I, I know this was worth buying, I don't know how or why, but anyway, um, my puppy's barking, I'm just going to do the two bags and get some laundry going, and then we'll start over, so this is a Marlboro Unlimited, um, it, uh, let's see, here we go, here's our tag in the pocket, it's a size XL, sorry about my puppy barking out there, but um, this is these are actually kind of collectible. They make sweatpants, they had jackets, it was like a promotion thing. So if I remember right, I haven't had an XL for a while, but I'll probably get at least 20 on that. It's kind of heavy though, I probably paid 350 for it. So uh, it's not like a home run or anything. I've got to look at the reversible jackets with the buffalo plaid on the other side. I have never had one of those. I've just had the plain red. Um, this is another Harley Davidson 2XL, just a button front, great size, should be an easy 15, um, yep, happy with that, it's got a lot of good, um, detail on there, so at least 15, I'm gonna look this up, this, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything too special about it, but I'll check into it real quick, I'm only gonna give myself a minute or, you know, minute or so, on the things I have to look up. I really need listings going up, not standing here doing research. I can do that. You know, I can learn as I go. I have a, a brand, a ton of brands that I pick up and that I already know. Um, this is Knox Rose. It's a medium. Um, this must have been on clearance. I'm, I don't know what store that would have been or if it was a consignment store and clearance. I'm probably just going to take this to the consignment store. I've tried and tried and tried to get Knox Rose to go for me, but it doesn't. But that will be really popular this summer at the consignment store. So this is just a swimsuit. I'm picking up any decent swimsuit right now. This will, I'll probably consign. I forgot what brand it is. Um, uh, Grand Everest, designed by Grand Everest. It's a 2XL, so it's a great size for a swimsuit, padded bra. Um, but most likely, I'm just going to consign this because they need swimsuits. They have very few swimsuits for the amount of traffic they get at this consignment store. All right, here's another Harley Davidson. These all came out together. This is a 2XL also. Just a really nice print back there. Um, the print looks really good. Um, it looks like really quality, um, you know, uh, embroidery. That's another way to look is, you know, um, kind of look at the quality of the embroidery. And then, of course, you know, to look at the tags there. So I'm, I'm still not sure. I might end up consigning these. If I'm only going to get 10 bucks on these, then I probably won't put them on eBay. I'll just consign them. Those will do really good at the consignment also. 
But now that it's spring, I would have to wait till next year, which, or not next year, but like September. Um, this is Patagonia swim trunks. Really nice. I'm going to probably put these on eBay. I think I can get at least 15. Nice pocket there. Good size. So far, tons of bread and butter, guys. That last bins trip where I paid it off within 10 days, I had a ton of very expensive stuff in there, like $350 dresses and stuff like that. This one, I'm not sure. I know that I did get some higher-end items, but so far we aren't finding them, are we? Um, L.L. Bean. Really nice green, just full zip. Just a Russell Athletic, but it's also an L.L. Bean Russell. And so I looked this up, and there was some kind of collab, a vintage collaboration, L.L. Bean and Russell. And so these actually are worth a little bit of money. I want to say $20, 25 um, This is a tall medium, which the tall won't hurt either. So, yeah, I'll probably put that on eBay. <laughs> what do we have here? Okay, this is a Marmot. Marmot is um, a hiking brand out here in Wyoming. I find it every day in my life. It's not that rare. Um, so I don't pay up for it because some of the shirts have just become more and more common. This is just a medium. So I think I'm going to start it at like 13 and I would take as low as $9.99 plus shipping on that. Okay, then this is a bra for one of my consignment customers. I do consign bras to, not consign, I buy, I'm a buyer for a lady who only sells bras. And so this is a cacique and this will do really well. She pays me three bucks a bra. I pay the least amount I can. So I probably paid 50 or 60 cents and then I'll get three bucks for this. And I'm going to divvy, divvy, that's probably an old-fashioned word, but I'm going to divvy this list up. So I will put how many bras I got that are going to be sold to her versus how much stuff is consignment versus how much stuff goes to eBay. I will eventually get there because I need to know how many eBay items I'm getting. So it's really more for me than anybody else. Um, this is an Olga. It's a really good brand. Um, it's got more pilling than I saw on the thing. So I'll... Uh, maybe just send that to her and you know she'll have to do the pilling thing so i don't know if i'll charge her full price for that but um that kind of got by me there i just now realized this is a nice bra here i try to check the bras i check the uh the underwire i check everything before i pick them up even at the bins this is another olga this is in really good condition so nice purple color nice size so that's good but see, I just grab everything at once. I try to keep track of it at the bins, but I just put it all in bags knowing that I do have a purpose for all of it. But when I get home, sometimes I only have two or three days worth of eBay stuff. Now, I'm still making a lot of money on the bras and on the other stuff. So in the end, it doesn't technically matter. But um, I really am going to have to find a way to estimate better how many eBay items I have because sometimes I'm turning around and coming home thinking that I've got a week's worth of work and I really don't. Um, okay, this is a Torrid, just a nice Torrid bra, nice um, polka dot, so nice, nice bra. That one will sell for her. Here's another bra. This is... A Cacique, nice brand. I think she likes that brand real good. I've already checked all the underwire and everything. And I want to get these washed and processed. That's why I want to do all this because I can send these bras out tomorrow and then I'll have a paycheck within like five days from all the bras. That helps me get my money back, all of that. Um, and it helps me pay my bill to my credit card that I'm, you know, using. And then I can go do it again. So this is Body by Victoria and it's um, Ibex, Ipex, whatever that means. Okay, guys, let's do one other little one and we'll take about 10 minutes. Um, let me see here. Okay. So I have this one. So I'm going to mark this receipt down. This is another one from a consignment store in Wyoming. It looks like I went in and I got one, two, three items. Did I just get three? It looks like so many more in there, but yeah, I think I just got three items on this one. So I got a Cabela size 2XL, another Cabela size 3XL, and then a Sims size large. Okay, so let's see what I got here. So 
um this is a sims now this is with my consignment money so you can see at the bottom that I used all store credit. So I had zero actual cash out, but this is what I use all the consignment stuff that I'm buying. I try to up it into better brands for less money. So normally this would have been $12 because they do know Sims. It's a Wyoming, well, it's not a Wyoming brand, but it's like a hunting, fishing brand, that kind of thing. This is a great shirt. It's in a great size. It's a size large. Um, so yeah, I paid 12 theoretically, but it probably cost me like a dollar fifty in other consignment stuff to earn the twelve dollars to get this. Cause I try to pick up a lot of frilly, lightweight stuff to take to them. Then I make two to four dollars a piece on some of those things, and then I can buy these. So um so not too bad. All right, then this is Hmm. <laughs> do I have another receipt in there? Maybe I do. <laughs> hmm. Well, we'll just do the Cabela's and then I'll figure out why I have a Peter Millar shirt in there. Because I, unless they just didn't charge me for one accidentally or something. I don't know why that would be. That is weird. Let me write this down on here. This will be receipt number 12. And this is, um, what are we at? That was zero. So that was zero. And then I got three items here. So, okay. All right. So this is going to be receipt number 12. It's probably not a good idea to keep the receipts in the bag. The problem is that I like to keep the receipt with the items because when I'm buying two or 300 items, then some of the receipts don't have an itemized one. This one does tell you exactly what you bought, so I could theoretically look and see the SIM shirt and then find those, but I think it's less confusing to actually keep them in there. Um, this is a Cabela's. This is one of them, the 2XL, and it's new with tags, so that is good. And... Um, I paid $8 in my consignment credit with this. I also had a coupon, so I had $25 in consignment credit on my account because I've used it and used it lately, as you've seen. Then I had a, a resale reward that they use, and I had a $10 resale reward, so I still have a little bit of credit left. So yeah, new with tags, that'll be good. I'll just put this on eBay. And then, this is my next Cabela shirt that I got on this trip. This is a 3XL tall. This one is not new, but it's a really good, nice, clean shirt. Eight bucks. Nice chamois. The chamois does really good, or the sham, chamois, I don't know what you call it, but chamois, I think it is. Nice, uh, heavy duty. I'm going to decide, do I list these now? Um, for fall, or for, I mean, spring, people are hiking up in the woods, doing a lot of hikes, a lot of outdoor stuff. This probably will sell. So I'll probably go ahead and list these now because... Uh, I don't know. And then where the Peter Millar came from, this is from their store. So I don't know if I, if, you know, we might find another receipt that has the Peter Millar on it, but I'm going to show it to you so I can get it processing and, and going. I don't see it right now, but you can see that I paid $4. This was upstairs. It was not half price. Sometimes I get half price stuff there. This is a Peter Millar wicking shirt and I thought for four dollars that's really good um they don't seem to mark up their Peter Millar at all and uh, so that's good for me because I'm always on the lookout for the ones that have the golf courses or especially the ones that have the golf club logos on them those can be worth a hundred dollars so I'm always on the lookout for those but yeah this will be a good solid 15 to 20 for me um so I am happy with that all right, guys, so I'm going to go do a little bit of reorganization. I'm going to count those pieces and mark them on our chart, and I'm going to have to get a second page of paper. I am known for my messy writing. I'm a nurse. I'm not a doctor, but I'm close as far as messiness. So I'm going to, um, you know, mark the number of items, and then I will end up rewriting that when I do all the calculations. So what was that, like 25 items maybe um, so far? And uh, yeah, we'll get started. I will be back. I'm going to launch this one, let it launch while I'm up doing the laundry. I'm going to, I'm not marking it bins hall one, two, three, four. It's just too much for me to keep track of. But, um, you know, you can just see the week 
as I as I go on by the dates you can see when I started and then I always do a synopsis so if you are new to the channel I would love it if you subscribed uh, if you have just subscribed I've had a lot of new subscribers this week there's no way for me to thank you except to just tell you thank you now and I really appreciate it let me know in the chat when you subscribe or if you're new here let me know what kind of videos you like um, we're gonna have to do some editing videos probably even today we might and uh, then we're gonna get the rest of this haul done because I want to know how much I've spent with the hotels so I know what my goal is to pay it off and I know how soon I can go again so it's important to me to get this done in the next day or so to kind of wrap up this bins haul and kind of know where I'm at all right guys thank you I'll see you back in in another video in just a little bit take care